Henry Huggins by Beverly Cleary. Beverly Cleary is a very old writer. She is 104. Her birthday was only a couple days ago, and she has written many books, including all my Ramona books, and all my Ralph books, and all my Henry books. Um, Henry Huggins is a boy who lives on Kit Kat Street. And Kit Kat Street is usually where Beverly Clary makes her stories take place. Or well, that's where the setting is. Henry Huggins finds a homeless, or he thinks it's homeless, dog. And he calls his mom, and his mom says he can take the dog home and take care of it. And Henry becomes the owner of that dog. So one day, there's this boy, and he, Henry knows nothing about him, and he doesn't live on Kit Kat Street. But in the newspaper, there was Henry and Ribsy, and there was a picture of them. Ribsy is Henry's dog, but this boy called the Ribsy Dizzy because they actually, he actually belonged to him. But he ran away, and he had no collar. So Henry thought, oh, it's just a homeless dog, right? And then Henry kept it, and they had this thing where they tried to see, like, they did this fair and square test to see which one he wanted to go home with more. And it's a very exciting book. Just like all of Beverly Cleary's books. You should read some, too. You can find them in your bookstore near your house, or you can find them in the library. They're super good, and it's really fun to read Beverly Clary's books because you feel like you're in the story. It's like you open the book, you read, and you're in the story. You're literally a character. No matter how old you are, no matter if you're a boy or a girl, no matter what, Beverly Clary books are fun to read. You can read these when you're 50 years old. You're still going to like them. Because she writes things in a way that she thinks everybody will like. And that's the way they are. But Henry Huggins is about something very exciting. Like all Beverly Clary's books. But this one's super exciting. It's... A good book, and you should really read some of the series that Beverly Clary has wrote. No matter how old you are, even if you're like 60 years old, you can still read it. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time on a Maya the Science Kids video. Do 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 do